tonight, a local Christian camp is responding after the 7 Eyewitness News I team uncovered sexual misconduct allegations against one of the camp directors. Christian minister and camp director Wayne Aram stands accused of having inappropriate sexual contact with teenage girls. All new tonight, the camp is defending the minister and claiming that it knows of a, a different motive behind these allegations. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is on the story for us. If you're looking for a Christian summer camp to send your children to this summer, this is what you will see on the homepage of Circle C. Seven new documents that outline why the board of its parent corporation, the Living Waters Ministry, and people who are close to Camp Director Wayne Aram say Aram is innocent of the sexual harassment claims against him. At least 21 women have come forward to lawyers hired by the chapel at Cross Point, where Aram once served as a pastor to accuse him of inappropriate conduct decades ago when they were teenagers. Those allegations outlined in a report from the chapel and ministry safes Kimberly Norris say the abuse happened during the 90s, during a time Aram was involved with the chapel and when the chapel says it had partnered with the ranch. Living Waters Ministry says it takes allegations seriously, and that's why the ranch conducted a thorough investigation of these circumstances assisted by professional experts. According to its own investigation, which included interviews with adult supervisors who oversaw youth programs in the 90s, no one saw anything inappropriate take place. The board claims the chapel at Cross Point wants to take over the ranch and says it's spreading falsehoods about Aram so members of the chapel can take over the Circle C board. In this document, the board writes the campaign against Aram was designed for the purpose of acquiring the camp's property and business. In an exclusive interview with 7 Eyewitness News last month, Aram and Daryl DeCobb from the Circle C board made that same suggestion while strongly denying all allegations against him. The one thing they did not have is a arranged kind of a, a children's ministry like that. I don't remember anything that would be inappropriate. A spokesperson for the chapel tells me it has absolutely no interest in acquiring Circle C, but the Circle C board says that's simply not true and claims the chapel has put forth a campaign to destroy Wayne Aram's reputation. Everything that's been presented to us has been what? Anonymous. How easy is it to make anonymous declarations? This statement from Circle C goes on to accuse the chapel of sponsoring anonymous claims from the alleged victims, even though the chapel says all information was unsolicited and the victims are not anonymous to the chapel. Circle C also takes aim at Ministry Safe's Kimberly Norris and her work claiming they lead them on. And then the woman comes up with the idea that, well, Maybe I can come up with something. But Norris, who founded Ministry Safe, says she has over three decades of experience litigating child sexual abuse issues and tells 7 Eyewitness News in a statement that despite Circle C's claims, few of the women who came forward during the investigation knew each other. The behavior complaints spanned decades. Norris says, I found each of the women to be credible. Patterns of predatory behavior emerged and grew more egregious as time passed. My evaluation of credibility is based on 30 years of past experience interacting with fact witnesses witnesses and abuse survivors. Social workers can talk a woman into a lot of things because they're not a accredited psychiatrist. To that, Norris says the notions that the allegations were planted or suggested by counselors or social workers is plainly absurd. But I can promise you, I can tell you right now, I never did that. You know, I don't know why they're saying it. I don't know where it's coming from. Anna Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.